Hello everyone, I'm really excited to be wrapping up season two on Mentorship for Success. This is the season finale as we do a recap of what we talked about. Mentoring relationships are safe spaces. There are many ways to find mentors through formal programs, through informal programs, and just through peer networking. Mentors come in all forms and shapes and experiences. They could be someone who's a peer. They could be someone with tremendous amount of experience. And, and sometimes it could be someone who's new. And that gives you an avenue into new exploratory territory like social media or artificial intelligence. So please do go and find a mentor to enable your success, be it in career or any other avenues that you're looking at. Ask a lot of questions. Be confident. Be clear on what you want to do. One way to find out review where your potential gaps or gap analysis is trying to do a SWOT analysis spelled SWOT which will help you highlight your blind spots help you to look for a mentor that will let you take those next steps forward but also help you find a holistic board of advisors as you're looking for growing either in your career be it financial success health or any other aspects that are important to you mentors are very vested in people's success and they're going to challenge you and push you to do more. And I think that is the neat thing about it. Find places where you can also give back to your mentor, helping them in exploring something that they're interested in or anything that you think would be relevant to them. And last, I want to do a call for action. Try to be a mentor yourself, even as you're going through a mentee relationship, because you never know what impact you can have on someone's life or the impact on their career. So please look at this. It doesn't matter what amount of experience you have because you always have something unique that you bring to that relationship. So there are so many avenues. You could do it in the schools. You could do it through colleges or even with your peers. So try to give back and be a mentor. And I hope as part of the takeaway from this, you definitely have a mentor or looking at exploring a mentor and maybe even building a personal board of advisors. Wishing you all the best and hope you enjoyed this season. Look forward to seeing you in the next season as we launch our discussion on Let's Talk About Money. We are going to be talking about finances and money and just the journey and listening to the experiences and talking to some experts as well. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Tune in every other Wednesday to catch the next episode. If you think a friend may benefit from this, please share this podcast with them. All the resources we talked about are also available on my website, womencareerandlife.com. Please like, subscribe and leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. I would love to hear from you about your stories and your journey. You can reach me on my blog, Twitter, Instagram, or Gmail at Women, Career, and Life. Until next time, this is Sarisha signing off. Remember, there are infinite possibilities to drive change in career and life. Which will you choose to make a reality today?